should he have any control over what you wear when you go out? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. No. If Shawty wears something a little too bit revealing, you know I mean? I should have a bit say so just because, like, you were a reflection of me. No. If that makes sense. No. Women can wear what they want to wear. Like look, you I shouldn't like, have to talk to my look, husband look, look, about look. wearing what I should wear, you look, know? you find like someone, but at the same time, mm. also be respectable and respect your no. husband, you know I mean? If I want to wear a bralette, I can wear a bralette out. You should, I should have to ask for permission. I should have to ask permission. No thing on the titties out. Mine not saying my titties we're out. We're breaking up. We're He's breaking up. We're breaking up. We're breaking up. We're breaking up. In the underwear. That's what I'm saying. I know. A man should not be able to. A man. I'm finna take this off later. A man should not be able to tell a woman what she should and should not wear. It's 2023. If there are flying yeah, cars, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think a man should tell you what you can and can't wear. Because you're your own person. But I feel as though you should know what's appropriate and what's inappropriate. Wait, it's man cannot tell women what they no, should wear. That's, not a that's, that's, period. that's on happened. anything. <laughs> let's see what you happened. should not be able to tell me what I have to wear. <laughs> that's not, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. What about boundaries or respect? We okay. have boundaries. No, no, we got plenty I of boundaries. I respect his opinion. Yep. She's not understanding at all. Listen, ladies, if you're agreeing with her, I want you to hear me out. When we go out, wherever we go, you're the star of the show. You got a pretty face. You got a wagon that you're dragging. That's going to attract attention. How you present yourself is going to determine the type of energy that we're going to get. Not just you, we. We don't want you to dress a certain type of way because we know how men think. If you look like you're advertising and you look like you're selling poom poom, what you think going to happen? Like I said, if we go out, you're the star of the show. These dudes are going to see you before they even know I exist. And when they see you, they're analyzing you. And in his mind, he feels as though you're disrespecting me. So why should he have to respect me? Why should he have to hold his tongue? God damn, she got a fat ass. Some of y'all can't hide the wagon that you're dragging. I understand that. You can't hide what Mother Nature gave you. I get it. But even with that, you can't be out here with the cheeks hanging out. When I go out... And I see dudes walking with their girl and they cheeks be hanging out. I don't know if it's me getting older, but that bothers me. I think that's just me getting old. That's that senior citizen. Sh that's like me going outside in some gray sweatpants with no drawers showing the chupacabra. My wife ain't going like that. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all have ever been to the club and actually bought a section and then these random females come in your section and get to demanding ish. I've had this happen to me before. Went to the club, y'all know bottles be expensive as hell. I did this for my birthday. Ordered like two bottles. Shit, damn, they came out to about $500. But you had to order a bottle to get a section. Order two bottles, got the section. The dudes I'm with, they was looking. I ain't gonna say this was looking thirsty, but this was looking dehydrated. Okay? Same difference. Females walking by started coming in our section. Cool. I get it. Whatever. Even though I'm in a full-blown relationship, I get it. A bunch of in the section by themselves look a little iffy. I understand. They start bringing these females in the section. One chick had an attitude, and now that I think about it, because sometimes I replay this this in my mind, I should have kicked the ass out the section. I should have kicked out the section. And if you know me, you know I'm cheap. That was out of my character. Spending $500 on two bottles that it probably would have cost $80 in the liquor store. These heifers was pouring the bottle up. Bottle done. One of these other heifers going to say, oh, y'all ain't going to order another bottle? Y'all ain't going to order another bottle? Who do you think you are? Now, I ain't trying to judge my friends, but I ain't none of y'all hoes is going to not one of these. Y'all damn sure ain't touching me. I'm not ordering another bottle. Man, I was in there sipping my Long Island iced teas. All they had was ice. It was empty bottles in a bucket of ice. And I, I think I knocked back like three or four Long Island iced teas. I'm just chilling, having fun. I don't know who y'all be thinking y'all are, man. Y'all y'all go to these clubs. I have a, a, a problem when people take advantage. That goes for women. That goes for men. I have a problem when people take advantage. And situations like this is literally taking advantage. It's taking advantage of pretty privilege. It's something I like to call pussy hypocrisy. Y'all know what y'all be doing. You got a whole man at home and you out there flirting with motherfuckers to buy you a drink. This right here, lady, this is not a look. You not come outside looking like this. This is what you wear when you're at home, in your house, comfortable. You don't, you don't step outside with a bun on your head. Let me tell you something, young girl. If any young lady built like how you built, 
tank top on, no bra, and boxes on. I just want to come on here and let me show y'all that this is not what you wear when you come outside. Why do y'all continuously do that? Why? Make it make sense. Who, who, who taught y'all that? Whoever taught y'all that, I'm here to tell y'all that, baby, this is not out there. This, this ain't a style. You take this off. Before you come outside, you take it off. You comb your hair. Comb it into a ponytail. Brush it into a ponytail. Brush it into a hot ponytail. You can't bend it for the Do something. Brush your fucking hair for it. It don't even matter how you style. You have to just do something to your head. Don't walk outside with a button on. That's not cute. Don't walk outside with your boxes on. It's not cute. Stop walking outside with no bra. Your titties out. Wait, 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 wait. Stop doing that. Put on a bra. Them sound effects of them titties smacking each other is crazy. Put on a shirt, put on a pair of jeans, put on shorts, put on something presentable, and then you walk outside. Because the minute people look at you and they turn their nose up towards you and they, and they look at you and they have something to say, now all of a sudden you're going to have an attitude. Baby, just stop walking out of the house looking like that. That's all. That's it. That's all. All right, let me ask you, does it count if you're going to your man house to get taken to Stroke City? Because to me, that's a Stroke City outfit. Am I agreeing with her or am I disagreeing with her? I don't know. As a man, I don't have a problem with that outfit. I'm sure my brothers don't have a problem with that outfit neither. You know what? This is the beauty supply store uniform. Does a man have the right to define what a woman is? Not at all. Not I at disagree all. with that. I disagree with that one too. Okay, so then what gives women the right to define what a real man is? Just like they have the right to define what a real woman is. Well, right, but aren't women always saying, like, a real man should be this and a real man should be that? Just like men say that... that says, just, like men sh just like men say that we should be this and we should be that. We should be able to cook. We should be able to, we should be able to cook, clean. clean. Which we should. All we that. Really. Yes, and I do all that shit. But, but at the, at the, end of at the day, day... Hold on. Aren't they contradicting themselves? I see y'all trying to use some word gymnastics, but, you know, it ain't Olympic level. I'm gonna keep it 100. It ain't Olympic level. Yeah. Okay. It goes both ways. Often we do try to define what a real man is. And you know what? It's crazy because we can't figure that out we until can't. we live that. Mm. We, until we experience what a real man is. You know, if we wasn't taught what a real man is, if How we didn't we see an example of a real man, we don't know ourselves. If your man is doing what makes you happy and the things that you expect, out of a man, then you're good. This is where I think the problem is. Everybody, and this goes for men and women, want to have their cake and eat it too. Everybody is out here looking for Mr. Perfect or Miss Perfect and don't acknowledge that they themselves aren't perfect. I know I'm not perfect, so I can't go out here looking for Miss Perfect. That doesn't make any sense. If you are currently dating, you need to look inside yourself, see your flaws. Understand your flaws. Understand that the people that you're going to encounter are coming with flaws. It's up to you to decide if you're willing to accept these flaws or if you're not willing to accept these flaws. We are 10,000 subscribers away from 100K. <laughs> I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Oh, that's your new home, girl, huh? <laughs> you better watch her in the cut. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, that's your new home, girl. I got a question for the uh, the LBGTQ. I don't know all the letters. How do y'all feel when y'all see... Uh, people acting gay for clout. All right, let me. Ask. Is he acting? I'm getting crossing the street vibes. I'm getting jaywalking vibes. Loitering. I'm getting loitering vibes. It's a lot of infractions. He walking in the middle of the street. You keep doing that, you gonna get hit. So y'all, I finally meet up with a guy that gave me herpes back in 2016. I'm sitting in my car. I'm parked right, right next to his car, and I haven't heard from him since he gave me herpes, but I'm finally seeing him again after I've seen him get out of his car. He's packing stuff, putting it in a U-Haul in front of my apartment building, and I want to know what's up. I'm standing out here. I'm waiting for him to come back outside because I have something that I have to say that's on my chest, and I'm not going to let it go. It ain't really on your chest. <laughs> I never quite understood how the herpes thing worked. The outbreaks and not none outbreaks. But 
when I was single, that was one of the things I was worried about. I did, on occasions, have to stop a few young ladies from giving me that Listerine gum therapy. I just couldn't do it. I just didn't want to risk it. I just didn't want to risk it. I had situations where me and my peoples might have shared partners, you know what I'm saying? Like, they might have had it back in the day, and I might have encountered them, and the first question they'd ask me is, hey, bro, did you get that gum therapy? And I'll be like, nah. They'd be like, you missed out. You missed out. Hush, hush, crazy. You know, I feel bad that I missed out on the gum therapy, but at the same time, you know, I didn't have the herp to hurt. I wasn't bumpy. I was cool. I'm not making fun of nobody that got the herp to hurt. I will say this, though. Woo! He going to kill me for telling this story. But... I have a random friend who traveled outside of the United States because he was talking to a young lady for a few months. And I'm, ooh, this young lady, fine. You know, she had that wagon. And he was talking to her for a few months, and he ended up traveling outside of the United States. I'm not going to tell y'all what country. He met her. They went on a date. You know, they were happy to see each other, everything. And she broke the news to him. She broke the news. She said, I have herpes, but she followed it up with, I haven't had an outbreak in over a year or in over two years or something like that. You know, that's why I'm, I be confused about the whole outbreak stuff. So she said, I haven't had an outbreak in a while. My man's called me. He was like, hey, bro, listen, I'm in a dilemma. Like, hey, you remember old girl who picture I sent you that I came out here to see? I was like, yeah. He's like, bro, she got the herp to the herp. Now, that scared me because that's my boy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, why she ain't tell you before you pay for the flight? Before you caught all them connecting flights over there? Why she ain't tell you that? He's like, bro, I know, bro. I'm upset. All right. So we get off the phone. We get off the phone. I go on Google to find out more about the herp to the herp, okay? That's when I started reading about breakouts. And, and I seen that, you know, you can possibly be intimate if the person not having a breakout and you not catch that fire. After I read that, bro, I've known this man for a long time. And I called him. He ain't pick up. I text him. He ain't answer. I already know that after we got off the phone, he went on Google too. And he seen that. Long story short, we ended up speaking like two days later. I was like, did you do it? He's like, nah, bro. I ain't do that shit, man. I ain't want to chance it. It wasn't until this motherfucker came back to America and we had a conversation. I was like, bro, did you do it? Cause. I know you did it, bro. Did you do it? He's like, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I went on Google. And I was nigga, I went on Google too. And then we just started laughing and you know, that that's that's what it was. Nigga <laughs> said Yo, I <laughs> Bro, I know look, I know, I know my friends, bro. I know my friends. I know how frugal this man is with money. And I knew if there was a will, there's a way. He was going to get his money's worth. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be telling y'all too much. Okay, let's say you have a man, right? And you guys are at the club or the bar. And he sees one of his exes. Do you want him to let you know? Yeah, I do want him to let me know so we can fuck her. Period. <laughs> yeah, so we can fuck her. You like girls? Whoa. Um... I wasn't expecting that. Oh, was I? She looked like... Mm. If y'all can see... Hold on, I'm going to screenshot this so y'all can see exactly where I stopped the video at. Because if y'all see where I stopped the video at, um, maybe, maybe she is about that life. Oh, yeah. They're hot. Do you not like girls? I like girls. Right then. So you would want to, uh, to hook up with his ex? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Hey, that's pretty wild. He got a type, so we all baddies. And so if he, if she comes up to say hi, you'll be excited. I'll literally kiss her right there on the spot. Make out with her. In the club? <laughs> we don't have to head out the club. A lot of girls said they wouldn't want to meet her. Are they tripping? They're tripping. Come on, that's a free threesome right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say you have a... Fellas, I know y'all be getting mad at me, but I know I can't show that on YouTube. I apologize. I'm apologizing in advance because I know how y'all be getting in them comment sections, but I definitely cannot show that on YouTube. 
Anyway, if you in the if you out and about and you see one of your one of your exes, are you introducing them to your current? What is the importance of introducing them to your current? I feel as though that'll create unnecessary issues. I don't know, bro. If that's your ex, maybe you can introduce. But if it's somebody that you just slept with, should you still into? <sighs> My head hurt. My head hurt. Like I've I've never been in that situation before, and thank Jesus, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. I'm I have a pass. You know, my resume is a little janky. But I have never came across old work while I was with my baby. Boy, knock on <laughs> But yeah, bro, I've never came across old work while I was out with my baby. Now, have I came across old work while I was just out and about? Yes. Believe it or not, I've came across... <laughs> damn, it's too, it's too many damn stories in this video. I ain't telling this story. I'm going to just say this. Have you ever came across old work and not remember?